So today's little project is the uh, carb service on the John Deere STX38. It's pretty straightforward, there is no weirdness, but I thought I'd film it just for those people that were thinking of attempting it and want to know how long it took. There's two main uh, studs that hold the carb onto the engine and they came out pretty easy. This is just the air filter box and this is the breather coming into the uh, from the engine into the top of the box. Just turn the fuel off and disconnect the fuel line. There's a gasket and just by swing the carb out there's two rods to disconnect and the carb's out the cable coming off the side is just the, uh, the ground cable the piece of the bottom is a fuel shut off uh, solenoid and that just unscrews with a 13mm spanner or wrench. This is the float and the valve and the o-ring. So I'm trying to clean off as much of the uh, the dirt as I can. I'll just get rid of that earth lead. It's pretty tight. a plastic cap that goes across one of the uh, things the throttle and these hoses are a bit like a Chinese finger puzzle you just have to lever off one side and get it started so the carb doesn't look too bad so I'm just using carb cleaner the tractor wasn't idling, that was the original fault with it. So I suspect that the idle jet is probably gummed up or there's some debris in there somewhere. I'm cleaning the outside of the car, but I like to give everything a, a good clean while I've got it out. Clean all the entry points for the fuel and all the galleries that you can. This is the mixture screw. And I'm just going to squirt some down in that. I wasn't getting much out through the, the throat, but there we go. Getting a good spray come through now. And I think that was the problem. So after I've fully cleaned it, I like to use an airline to just blow out all the, the different points, all the holes in the carb, and then dry it off a little bit as well. Now we're going to start rebuilding the carb, o-ring first. float valve, it's going to sit inside that, and then the retaining pin, just checking that moves freely. And the float bowl, and then the shut off solenoid.
put in the mixer screw back in. I counted two turns out when I uh, removed it, so I'm just gonna do exactly the same, and then if it needs adjusting from there, I'm gonna be pretty close, I think. And the ground lead. And the fuel hose. Ready to go back home. So one of the studs came all the way out when I removed the carb. And the fitting is just exactly the same. So I'm just going to wind that stud by hand into the, into the block and then just use two nuts locked together just to drive the stud in and then back them off. That should be good. So got my linkages in. The gasket back on. Power box. Two nuts. And the right hand one has the, uh, the ground cable connected. Breathe the tube back onto the carb. And the fuel line. Now the uh, solenoid electrical connection. Air filter. top of the air filter. While I'm doing the carb, I think I'm going to change out the spark plug as well. It's a Champion RC14YC and I gapped it at uh, 40 thou. Okay, let's see how it runs. The ideal RPM is around 1200 uh, according to the book. I think I'm running this slightly lower, I think it's 1080 on this little uh, eBay gauge, tachometer gauge. So I'm a little low. But I can adjust that later. So that's the project completed. Thanks for watching and if you like my videos then please subscribe.